When a single mom with two young boys drives all the way down here from Missouri, that's someone who's really serious about adopting one of our dogs, and I just hope that we can find the perfect match for them. Hey, how, are how are you? My name is Penny Woodall, and I'm from Buffalo, Missouri. I'm a single mom. I've got two boys, 11 years old and eight years old. Hi. This is Derek. Say hi. Hi, Derek. And hi. Andrew. Hi, Andrew. Me, my mom, and my brother came here to adopt a dog and make sure it has a really good home. The family needs a dog that is fun and energetic enough for the boys, but can sometimes maybe not be so rambunctious for mom. And I began to think about a dog we have named Lacey that we rescued just a few weeks ago. Oh my god. Are you ready to live there? Hi. What are you doing? She was just hanging out in the front of someone's yard, unleashed, no fence, which is very common in this area. Knocked on the closest front door, and the owner had said he kicked her out because she kept trying to get up in bed with them and the kids. I tried to convince him that we could um, train his dog, but he just told me to take her away. Lacey has so much love to give, and she deserves to be with a family that appreciates how affectionate she is. She is. <gasps> she did, she came straight up to us, and that was great. I was really excited to see her. Hold on, kisses. <laughs> now, get your butt up. There you go. She was a nice dog. She loved people. Rubber belly. She's trying to roll over. She's ready to play now. Look at her. It was so great to see how she was with the kids. She jumped right up there with them, flipped over, you know, and was all about, you know, snuggling up with them, which was just exactly what they were looking for. Do you guys like her more than EJ and Rezzy? Yep. Really? I can tell. What do you like about her better than Rezzy and EJ? EJ was a little too wild. <laughs> yeah, he was pretty wild. <laughs> what about Rezzy? Why do you like her better than Rezzy? I really like her playing. I like playing. I think too, I mean, she's, she's sweet, but she's, she's calm about it. Yeah. I feel like it's a perfect fit for us. The boys just absolutely loved her, and I feel like she's just the right temperament for them. The way that it just kind of all meshed together, it really made it feel like it was the right choice. You know of any fun things that you would do with Lacey? Think she'd go and play soccer with you? Hit the ball with her nose. Whenever I do an adoption with children, I do discuss with the family, the kids' activities and the things that they do. What do you do for like fun? Like what is your fun thing you like to do? Video games, go outside, do the trampoline. Trampoline? Yeah, you should trampoline like a big thing that you do? Yeah. This way we can make sure that whichever dog they choose can just jump right in with their day-to-day -day lifestyle. This is adorable. Yeah. She's so cute. <laughs> I think Lacey's the one. And I think Penny felt the same way. She wanted Lacey to be a part of her family but really want to be with the boys. Well, I'll walk you back in, and we'll say goodbye. It feels really great for her to potentially be our dog. It's just extraordinary. OK, guys, so we'll talk to you soon. OK. OK. Good. Nice seeing you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Where are you going now? You can't go yet. Come on. Lacey's feelings on the subject were pretty obvious. She was ready to hit the road and make the 10-hour drive to her new home. This is country. Yeah, it'll be good for her. Gets room to run around instead of being in the city. Today, Barry and I are in Missouri to do Lacey's home check. The training with Lacey went great. Actually, she was completely oblivious to 100 kids jumping on a trampoline. Hi. Hey, y'all. Nice to see you again. On a scale of 1 to 10, I would say today is probably a 12. The boys are pretty through the roof. Are you guys excited? Do. Yep. Yeah. I'm so excited. Every day I was asking her how many more days until the dog's home. When I woke up this morning, I looked at my calendar and it was Wednesday and the dog was coming today. You guys um, are going to come in and sit down? And... Yeah. yeah, we'll just talk a little bit before I bring her out. Okay. This family's been through a lot and you want them just to finally catch a break. So I hope that everything works out perfectly for them. Oh my gosh, how cute! <laughs> these are so cute, these pictures. It's really obvious that this family's been preparing for Lacey to come there. And one of the things that they did is they made her own little cubby hole and they got her bowls and put pictures of them and Lacey up on the wall and it was 
Adorable. And then we've got a crate over here and set up for her to. Oh, perfect. In. That'll just be for when, like I said, when we're not home and stuff like that. Other than that, she'll be loose. She'll yeah, be that's fine. that'll be fine. One of the most important things is that Lacey has a secure yard to play in. So do you want to show me the yard? Yeah, I'll show you all of our work. When they came here for the meet and greet, they told us that they were going to be putting in a more secure fence. So before we actually bring Lacey out, I need to check it to make sure that it's okay. This has all been done since we oh, saw nice. you guys. <laughs> the fence too? Yeah, all of this. Wow. Oh my God. That's really nice. The yard looked great. It was huge. The fence is high and it's secure. I think it's awesome that you guys did all of this for her. Like, I love when right. people get really excited to get their new yeah. animal. When I see somebody that you know put forth this much effort, it absolutely makes me want it to work out that much more because I can just tell that they're going to love her very, very much. You ready? It's been really different not having a dog for so long, just missing that whole companion feeling and having the kids having someone to play with. And so hopefully Lacey will be able to come and live with us. <gasps> that moment that Tanya brought Lacey through the gate, it was just amazing. Her and Andrew and Derek seemed to mesh really well together. What are you doing? I really like her. So I'm sure she's gonna have a good time at her house. Oh, this is amazing. <laughs> Please don't. Oh, come on, Lacey. <laughs> Working so hard on the yard and the fence and seeing Lacey just run around, it's kind of perfect. I can't wait for you to go swimming, huh? Everything looks great, but there's just one more thing that we need to check before we head inside. Check out the trampoline. What do you think? Lacey did great with the trampoline testing in New Orleans, so we just want to show them that she's gonna do great with the trampoline there. It is hot. Look, Lacey. What are you doing, Walmart? Just like she did at Villalobos, she did great with all the crazy bouncing around that was going on. Lacey, look at the boy. Oh, face plan. <laughs> I mean, everything worked out perfectly outside. I think it's time to take her inside and show her around. Show her the spot, don't we? Come on, let's go look. Get your spot. Look. When I heard Lacey's story and how she ended up actually going to the shelter because they didn't want her jumping on the bed or in the kids' beds or anything, I just couldn't believe it because, you know, here at our house, we want her right there with us. Oh, oh. Cute. what are you doing? If she didn't get to go on the bed, that's not really fair. I would lay her on the bed every time she wanted to. <laughs> well, I think yeah. she's home. Really happy. Over the last few years, we kind of have gone through a lot of different difficulties and losing my husband and the kids dealing with that and then losing his dog, which was basically, you know, another person in the family. So to have something good like this and to bring happiness for her and for us, I just can't even put into words how great it feels to have her here. What are you doing? I'm happy this year. Mom smiled because this is like the happiest time I've ever seen it. Can we take a picture of all of you guys together though, actually? Oh, her ears, that's so cute. I don't think that this adoption could have gone any better. You could read, you know, the excitement on all three of their faces and you could tell that she really wanted to be around them. Aww, take Lacey. Thank you. You guys want to say thank you? Thank you. Thank yeah, you guys. Thank you all.